for Mike and myself so that we can start the meeting in an official way. I welcome our audience, our members uh, who so faithfully join us every Wednesday for our exciting meetings. Today is a particular exciting one, I guess, because we all from we talked about childhood and we, I think, all remember the uh, expectation that the time just before Christmas uh, and the presents we were expecting and so forth. This is going to be an exciting day today. We have several presenters uh, looking forward to that. I appreciate your willingness to make yourself available. And uh, I think I'd like to ask Mike uh, to make a few announcements that we need. Thank you very much, Eckhart. Let me just share my screen. And first of all, say a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever you are on the planet right now. Uh, as ever, a bunch of announcements, which would give you a couple of minutes to quickly go and hide your wallets, because I, I have a feeling many of us will be spending money uh, after today's session. First of all, um, I've forgotten to do it because I always forget to do it, but I will during the meeting. Um, start a thread for this particular meeting today. So if you have any questions or comments uh, about the Christmas gift guide, please use that thread on the message board. I said this last week, but the board has become, and I'm sure this is because it's become easier to use. Um, it's much faster. Um, you can now use mail, as I'm sure most of you now know. Um, but the board is much busier than it has been. And that's absolutely great. And thank you very much. So first important announcement, um, Sheeta, of course, discussed the 2025 classes schedule at the last meeting. Um, booking is now open. So if you nip onto the NMUG website, you can book your place for any or all of the 10 great classes that are scheduled for January, February into March. Uh, secondly, a uh, change of date. We suddenly realized, Dan suddenly realized that he was going to be sitting on an aeroplane on the morning of Saturday, the 7th of December. Oops. So we've shuffled the date of our website and message board meeting to Saturday, December the 14th at 10 a.m. Um, particularly if you're um, inexperienced uh, at using the message board, do come along because it will be a great, great opportunity to ask as many questions as you want. We want everybody up and using it. Um, comfortably. So please, please do join us Saturday the 14th. Um, Dan's been busy. Dan's always busy um, and has now got gift memberships up and running on the website. So if you're if if you feel that you know anybody that would love uh, to receive an NMUG membership as a gift, you can do that from your profile. So you just wiggle along, click on your name here in the top right hand corner of the screen and go down to gift a membership. And um, that's a great way of um, gifting people. And of course, it, it would be hugely appreciated by NMUG. Our AGM is getting ever closer, December the 11th. Please, please do come along and support us for that event. Eckhart will be chairing it, but many of us will be taking part in it, discussing the past year and our hopes for 2000 and 25. So to today, um, I think Sheeta's going to kick off. Get your credit cards ready. And uh, <laughs> I can't wait to hear what people have lined up for me to spend my money on. So uh, Sheeta, I'm going to stop my share now and hand the meeting to you. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Can you see my screen, everyone? Yes. Okay. Get rid of that. All right. Thank you all for joining us today. I want to welcome you to the 2024 edition of the Holiday Gift Guide. We have quite a lot in store for you. Uh, myself will be presenting along with Mike Wozniak. David Abramowitz, Dave McGuire, and Christian Boyce is going to join us as well. We're going to start off quickly because we have a lot to show you. And actually, the first thing that I want to show you is free. Free, so you don't have to worry about it. 
uh, the iPhone and even the iPad, they can take images and videos in a format that is not uh, universally supported throughout. Uh, the HEIC and the HEVC image uh, format is not supported by everyone. The developers of iMazing have a converter for those file formats that you can download and use absolutely free. It is a cool little app. Uh, I'll put the link to the website uh, in the chat when I'm done. You can also see it here. But you can easily take your files, drop them onto these this app, and I have a little short video showing you what I've done. I've taken the file format, dropped them directly onto the window of the app. It shows that you can keep the data inside the images if you want. You have a JPEG and a PNG format. You can set the quality and the resolution. And there's the actual size, large size, medium size. And if you had video, you can set the video to QuickTime or even MP4, which is probably what you want to use instead. Choose Convert. Come on, choose Convert Sheet. And set the file location. Once you choose your location, it almost instantly converts the files. Then after you do that, I want to show you that I have the... Uh, get info to show you the different sizes. The HEIC is a smaller format file. The JPEG that is created is just a tad bit larger. And I also want to show you the quality. You can see that the JPEG image that was created and the HEIC, there's practically no difference in the quality. So you have this quick image converter, video converter, that you can use free of charge, thanks to the developers of iAmazing, which is an absolutely great program. We know about that from last year's class. My next gift idea are <clears throat> batteries that are specifically made or uncoded to use with your AirTags. Uh, I have some batteries, uh, these CR2032 batteries that I use. I put in my AirTags and they would not work. So I remember vaguely something about this, about the coating that is now the protective coating that is now put on these batteries to force children to spit them out once they, if they put them in their mouths because the coating is so bitter. But that coating can also stop your batteries from working in some devices. So you can take a cloth damp, dampened with alcohol and rub it on the battery and if you put it in the air tag and you hear that sound, that means that you're successful. If you don't want to go through that fix, you can just buy batteries that are automatically compatible. So you can get a four pack of these from Amazon. These batteries, as you can see, the child uh, secure coating. I didn't put it in my mouth to taste it to tell you how bitter that is. No, thank you. So it does work in a wide range of, wide range of devices. My next gift for you is a Pro case for iPad Pro 13. I've had really good success with uh, this company and Pro case. They, uh, all of my iPad covers are by this company. And I needed a case for my iPad Pro 13 inch because that thing is really lightweight for its size. It's almost a little too lightweight. I fumbled it out of my hands a couple of times. So I needed a case to add a little weight to it. This case by Procase actually has a pencil holder inside the case that will allow the pencil to charge while it's in the case. And so that is pretty cool. So this particular case works like you'd expect. Uh, it has a all of the openings needed. It has a transparent background. When you close the case, it puts your iPad to sleep or wakes it up when you open the case. You can see all the expected uh, uh, ports and po uh, portals and speaker holes and cameras. It does not cover um, any of those, even with the plastic. Some of them have plastic that covers these areas so that you can still get the full breadth of your device. 
uh, great protection. I don't know about this. I've busted up an iPad with a case. So, you know, uh, just don't drop it on concrete like I did. So damage, uh, any protection is good. It has three viewing angles for when uh, you're using it. And I found it to be a very good case. One of the things that I do want to say is after reading about this case, I read that um, on the summary that it's like one of uh, the most, re uh, it's a returned item, frequently returned item, which I found odd because Procase, they make pro uh, quality products. So I think the issue was that people could not uh, get their iPad into the case or they felt that the fit wasn't great. This iPad is made specifically I'm sorry, this case is made specifically for certain model iPads and it fits snugly. So if you align the iPad into the case properly and um, you just tug on, it, tug on it a little bit to get the iPad into the case, it is a perfect fit. So I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a good case. The price is really reasonable, $15 on Amazon. My next gift idea are cables. So why cables? Well, cables has become, still is, a hot mess issue. And even with the USB-C, there's still all kinds of flavors of USB-C. The cables that come with the iPhone Pro and iPhone 16 Pro models are only capable of 480 megabit per second data transfer. And if you're transferring a lot of images and a lot of video like I do from my iPhone, it is slow as molasses on a cold day. So I purchased these cables from Ugreen. And when you purchase any type of cables, you really have to look at the specs because you can see these same cables on Amazon, but they are not the correct cables that I have here. So again, I'll put the link in for you. But these particular cables allow 4K, 10 gigabytes uh, of data transfer per second. I use them with my iPad, my new iPad Pro, because that, can you please uh, turn your mics off? Um, because the iPad Pro 13 only comes with a charging cable and not a data transfer cable. So I also use this to power my iPad Pro as well. Uh, it, this actually has a little chip inside of it that helps get those particular speeds. It is a great, well-made cable. I really like it. It's uh, compatible with a, a lot of different devices. Again, 10 gigabytes per second data transfer. And here is a screenshot of the cable that comes with the 15 and 16 Pro models. And you can see that the speed of data transfer is 480 megabits per second. And once I inserted the Ugreen cable, now that data transfer is 10 gigabits per second. So Ugreen uh, quality cables. I even have um, uh, HDMI cables by Ugreen attached to my um, Apple TVs. It's a, they make a great product, but always read the specs. My next gift idea, I am just a sucker for chargers. Uh, I still have the charger that I um, gave as a gift I did last year that's sitting next to my bed, but I needed something to travel with. I don't like to take things that I use at home like the one on my nightstand and take them traveling with me. I like to keep those particular devices separate. So this particular charger is really unique in that it charges three items at once. And uh, you can take the top portion of it. Fred, can you please close, m mute your mic? And Mike, can you please mute your mic? I hear background noises, thank you. All right. Okay. Um, you can take the top of the charger and lift it up. It, it's hinged, and that is where your iPhone sits. The surface area behind it is a wireless charger for your AirPods Pro, and that little drawer slips in and out to charge your Apple Watch. So you can see it's pulled up and pulled out. 